Um, take these, place them behind your back. Okay. And, uh, and give them a cut. Cut the deck anywhere you like. Okay. And, uh, we, you know, afterwards we'll show the camera. This is a completely normal deck. They're not a bunch of duplicates or anything. Uh, cut it again if you like. Sure. Is it, I'm doing a really good cut. Here. I want you to take the top card and uh, hold it close to your chest. Do not look at it. All right, perfect. So at this at this point, neither one of us uh, neither one of us know what this card is, no. right? Uh, which is which is super interesting. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to have you guess it. Okay. And that'd be cool, right? Red yeah. or black? Uh, black. Okay, perfect. Club of spades. Spades. Perfect. Um, I'm just gonna go for a gut shot here. Give me a number between zero and 13. Nine. Have a look. What the? <laughs> That's insane. That's... <laughs> that wasn't set uh, up, was it? Yeah, no. <laughs> Gotta think about that one for a while. That's a good um, one. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> that was crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. That's good, man. This card? Kind of a cool joker. What's special about this playing card is that it was actually used in the movie The Dark Knight in a scene with Heath Ledger. How cool is that? This one, as you can probably guess from the back design, is actually from the movie Casino Royale, the James Bond movie. I picked these up on uh, on an auction. They were auctioning off prop stuff. So here are the certificates of uh, authenticities that they were actually featured in the movie. I just thought that was a cool, cool little piece of memorabilia that I thought I'd share with you guys and you card collectors out there like me. I think you'd, you'd probably appreciate some of that as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that intro, by the way. That was me performing to my buddy Nelson, who is a memory champion. Now guys, if you haven't checked out that video already, Nelson and I teach basically how to remember absolutely anything. We published that video on Friday on my channel. I worked so hard on the intro. It, it's an amazing video. And if you guys just wanna do me a favor, go check it out. I left the link below. I did some magic for Nelson, which was kind of cool. And that trick that you saw in the intro is particular because once he chose the card, I already knew what the card was. Now I have a method for that. So the deck he used is a real deck. All the cards are different. He cuts it as many times as he wants. He takes a card and I can know what card that he took. However, I've always wanted to take that a step further and have the person name the card. Now, usually, most of the times, it doesn't work, but sometimes it does. And this one time, we just happened to capture it on camera. You guys are gonna think it's set up. You guys are gonna think, uh, I don't know, I told him to say whatever. Um, I can assure you, I'm not about that. That's not something I do. I just thought it was really cool that we actually captured that moment, which is an impossible magic trick on video, and I get to talk about it and share it with you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed. Anyways, today, is Monday, Magic Monday, you know what that means. We are taking a look at the subreddit right now, guys. Right now, okay? Toot sweet, 7,000. 7,000 members strong. Currently 129 of you online right now checking out videos or posting stuff, which I think is super cool. And remember, if we hit 10K, if we hit 10K by next week, I'll do a giveaway. Hit 10K, have a giveaway. All you gotta do is subscribe to the subreddit below. I left the link. Also, let's just get into it. Top of this week. Okay, here we go. Invisible Billiard Ball Magic. I'm gonna turn the volume down here. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. That's cool, dude. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> C'est cool. Get an upvote, 453 upvotes. That's massive, congrats. An idea too cool to ignore. Again, sorry for the music. Well, we just won't be turning it on then. Yeah. There's got to be some video editing there. How is there no video editing there? What did I just witness? Let me go look at the comments here. Hey, fellow Pinoy Galing Motal, thumbs up. It has to be in your mouth. I've convinced myself it is. You must have a long, long tongue and some glue on the tip. Yep, I think I got it. Sorry for spoil. <laughs> if that wasn't a camera trick, then really good. And I don't even care if this can be done in real life or not. Looks amazing. 
Good job. Note to self, never scare a magician. Okay, he's reading a book. Roar! Ta-da! Did you just shit my pants? <laughs> How to duplicate a deal, a uh, duplicate a card, the optical deal. Let's see. Oof, that top shot. Let's see. That's cool, man. Ah, uh, that's so cool. That's so cool, I wanna try it out right now. I'm gonna try it out and fail miserably right now. Here we go. Oh, how does he do this? Wait, what? Huh? This is so cool. The optical deal. So he just holds this one. Oh, he's like producing a card. Oh, I see. No. <laughs> For more stuff like this, check out my Instagram. You heard the man. Ah, that looks really dope. Huh? Yeah. All right, a two-handed cut I've been working on for almost a year. I call it Hitori. Let's see it. Ooh. Oh, that's insane. Ooh, that opening sequence is really fun to watch. Let's have a look at that again. Oh, that right there. Reminds me a lot of uh, the opener to a critted. Where we're like, uh, is it this? And then he's like this somehow and something's happening. But that's kind of what it reminds me of, that opener. And now the cards are gonna fall. Because it wasn't warmed up. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't warmed up. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty good. Hey. Odyssey, when it's gone, it's gone. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, dude. I like that. Because he keeps the king face up so you know he's not sliding it back on the top. Clever. A nice little routine. Oh, some rubber band stuff. Yeah. I love this effect. Is this, uh... Who is this? Who does this? Is Dan Haas? No. That last one is really good. Why I need glasses. Why, do, why does this man need glasses? Let's have a look. Beautiful. Ooh, that looks so good, dude. Ugh. That looks so gross. All right, all right, so these guys practicing for World of Magic production, what do you think? So the guy went in the box. Yo, that was pretty quick. Not bad, not bad. You know, that's really hard to do and to, to make it that quick is really, really difficult, so good on you. An ace reveal he made, was that an ace production? Nice. Very nice, very smooth, my dude. No. Oh, wow. Very, very fooling as well. Get on ya. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Linking stationaries. What's a stationary? Oh, it's a eraser and a USB key. I mean, that looked really good. This guy, deck displays he makes. Let's have a look. Ooh, that looks really nice. 
You know what? I'm gonna ask you guys a bit of a challenge this week. I wanna see some of your setups in, and how you display some of your playing cards. As you guys know, I have my setup over there which has like that cassette rack, uh, which looks kind of cool, but I wanna see what your setup looks like. So take a picture and uh, post it on the subreddit. We'll check it out next week. You know what? Will you do it again? Oh, he just dropped it right there on the table. Still kind of fooled me the first time though. What do you say? And it would have been so good. Oh yeah, it would have been so good. The snap deal on invisible table. Okay. Ooh, can we hear that? Go again. This is sick. Oh, 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 Pog, dude. <laughs> That's actually Trebo. Tre Trebo. What's this here? What's he doing? Yeah, I love this. What a nice way to do the frustration count. So beautiful. Nice change. He's got the kings now. Very good. That's that's really impressive. Looks super good, dude. I'm gonna give you a an upvote. In the air coin vanish. Completely impromptu. What? Okay. Do it again. Yeah, that looks great. I have no idea what's happening. I wish you could have filmed it a little bit better just because I feel like that's like a one take thing, amusing myself at work. I love magic when the magician's confused by the things happening to him. Makes it so much more entertaining and less, you know, less show-offy. <laughs> I love how this guy's probably supposed to be working right now. <laughs> Gotta love the community, man. Oh, that's great. This routine would be so much better if the camera was just panned down just a little bit. He's got too much headspace there. A lot going on in that pen, but this is great. Is this, I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, this is Greg Wilson? Not the man, but the, the effect. That's so good. That's great, man. See, around the office too, he's got like an office thing. I love that this guy's just having fun literally at the office with a pen, filming it, posting it to this subreddit when he should be working. That makes me so happy. Good stuff. Nobody's born cool, except of course. <laughs> well, how does this have 64 upvotes? This doesn't seem funny to me at all, but okay. What? Excuse me? Excuse you? What? What is happening? That's insane. Right, exactly, physics. That's really, that's really insane. I don't understand how the physics work here. Okay, he's got like, he's got a counter pressure going on with his finger, but how is that enough to hold all the cards together? Do you know what I mean? Like his, his other thumb does not come in contact. He's here. Oh. It's because I'm not warmed up. I'm not warmed up, guys. That's why That's why that didn't work. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a bunch of ring slices. Oh, look at one more. Here we go. 
This guy doing ring stuff, let's see. Nope, no music. Love ring stuff. Ooh! What? That's beautiful. Dude. That's a beautiful slight. I've never seen this. I'm so happy I clicked on this video. This guy's really good with that ring, dude. Wow. I'm completely enamored by this gentleman and his ability to manipulate a ring. What? What? Huh? I immediately have to show this to my friend Garrett Thomas. This is insane. Garrett has, you know, he's the guy who came up with this whole, right? Uh, he's a genius, Garrett Thomas. And, and I, I, Pretty sure he would really appreciate this. So I'm going to upload this and I'm going to, can I save this? I can save it, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna show that to my buddy Garrett. That was insane, really, 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 really insane. Uh, I'm even gonna comment, can I give an award? How do awards work? Give an award. Huh? Oh, you gotta pay for it? I mean, it's not that amazing. <laughs> All right, uh, anyways, that is what's going on in the community this week. Obviously, there's a lot more than just that going on. I can't go through all of them. I really wish I could. There's so many really good things here that I just want to get to. Um, I'm going to have a look at these. I'm going to keep looking through them. I can't put them all. I can't feature them all in the video, and it makes me kind of sad because a lot of them deserve to be featured. And who knows, maybe they will be featured in the next ones coming up. But thank you guys so much for posting to this subreddit. This community is amazing. I'm reading the comments on a lot of these, and they're all positive. And it's so you guys cheering each other on and, and helping each other with you know problems that you're having. I think it's amazing. What an awesome thing that we've created here. So if you guys wanna join the community again, we get to 10K, I do a big giveaway uh, by next week. So hopefully we, that's, we're only missing 3K. So let's get there. Links below, check it out. Become a part of this growing community uh, that we have going on here. And like this video if you did enjoy the content, guys. It really helps my channel. Subscribe if you like what you see. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified for the future videos. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.